just don't have what God said because we don't quite want into analyzation. Most of the mistakes we make, we make because we analyze something. We thought about something. We pondered on something. And what we pondered on was not what the word of God says. And that's why the Bible tells us to think on the things that are lovely, the things that are pure, the things that are just, the things that are of a good report. If there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. See, the biggest problem with our faith is what we allow to stay on our mind. That's what messes with my faith. What I think on. That's why 2 Corinthians 10 and 4 tells me, you know, that, that I wrestle not against flesh and blood. And then it goes on and fire and tell me to cast down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against my knowledge of God. What I know God said. Does that make sense? So in other words, when my thoughts come up and they're opposing what God says, you broke, you ain't going to make it, you're going to lose everything. I have to cast those imaginations down. Because those are opposing thoughts to the promises of God. Does that make sense? The Bible says my God's going to supply all of my needs. Amen? So goes on in Romans 4 and 20 to say about Abraham, he staggered not at the promises of God through unbelief. Amen? Being strong in faith, but was strong in faith, he gave glory to God. The Amplified says this. The Amplified says in uh, Romans chapter 4, verse number 20, it says, No unbelief or distrust made him waver, doubtingly questioned concerning the promise of God. But he grew strong and was empowered. How? By faith. Amen? Amen. He was empowered by faith as he gave praise and glory to God. Amen? Amen. He refused to stop trusting God by constantly battling, battling excuse me, doubtful thoughts. Amen. See, a lot of times it's the doubtful thoughts that makes us doubt God. Amen. It's the doubtful thoughts that make us doubt the promises of God. It's the doubtful thoughts that keep us from getting blessed. That's why Jesus said, believe in your heart. And it's gonna move. You got it's the confession is one thing, but you gotta get your heart right, you gotta get your mind together. Amen? Amen. So it says that Abraham staggered not at the promises of God through unbelief, but he was strong in faith, giving glory to God. Now look at what 21 says, and being fully persuaded. Now, what you have to understand, when you allow someone to persuade you to do something. When you've been persuaded, what it means is I've changed my mind. Yes. Amen? Yes. When I'm doing one thing and you persuade me to do something else, or I'm doing something a certain way, and you persuade me to do it another way, guess what? All you did is you caused me to change my mind. So what, what Abraham did is when God made the promise, he changed his mind about his current situation, and he made his mind focus on what God said. That's why it says he was being fully persuaded. But check this out. I only change my mind when I make a choice. You can't persuade me to do nothing unless I'm open to a different choice. Being persuaded is act of my will. Amen. 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 It's not something I'm forced to do. It's something I decide to do. Yeah. So when it said that he was fully persuaded, basically what it's saying is he chose to believe God. He chose to believe God. Uh -huh. Am I making sense? Yeah. And we have to choose to believe God. Yeah. So what Abraham did when God made him the promise, he saw the, the impossibility of his situation, but then he saw the promise of God, and Abraham made up his mind, I know God is going to perform. He's able to perform what he promised. He was fully persuaded that what he promised, he was able also to perform. He made up his mind to believe God. It didn't just happen. It didn't just God and just water it, and it just came up miraculously. Abraham had to put some work in. Yes, yes. And do you understand, if your faith is going to grow, you got to put some work in. You're going to have to exert yourself, casting down imaginations. You're going to have to exert yourself to not look at your natural situation. You're going to have to exert yourself to make yourself trust God. You're going to have to put some work in if you want to increase your faith. It's not just going to happen by osmosis. It happens on purpose. God will never take and he will never force you to grow. 